just as the ball is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. The Cardinals will look to get to the 45 to pick up a first down. Palmer's going to take it from the gun. The reception by John Brown. First down and 10. Javon Brown makes the catch. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Cardinals official. He does have an upper body injury of some kind, but guys, it doesn't appear to be a big concern. The medical staff's cleared him to return as soon as he feels ready. Back to you. So here in overtime, the rules change. If you receive the ball first and get a touchdown, the game is over. However, if you take the ball down on your first drive and only manage a field goal, the other team will have a chance to tie or win the game. And if both teams get field goals on their opening drives, the next team to score from there will win the game. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Saints offense is on the field, hoping to erase the memory of their last drive, which was completely unproductive, a quick three and out. Yeah, it was. I don't know if they can erase this defense. This defense is pretty good. We saw that in the last drive, and they got good players, and they're pretty excited, so this is going to be tough on the offense. Ingram, solo back set. Breeze on the move. Looking long to Colston. What a catch. One-handed. It's a walk-off touchdown beyond belief. If I was a quarterback, I would be looking at this receiver, too. He has been getting open all day long. And how about that? Another touchdown catch. What a terrific day. Well, this one, an overtime thriller and a game-winning touchdown in the extra session. That is exciting, Jim. The offense played terrific all day, and it's just a, it's appropriate that they got it done in overtime and drove down the field and scored. For Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.